One of the main reasons why I've been telling you that relationships in the month of February are supposed to be cornerstones, not capstones. They're supposed to be foundational, not necessarily the pinnacle, the climax, the summit of life, is because relationships are simply a down payment and they are a little taste of the most important relationship in life. And I'm speaking of the relationship, not of you with God, not with you and your spouse and your kids, but I'm speaking of the relationship between the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. That is the most important relationship in life. Why? Because out of that relationship, that's where salvation comes. Out of that relationship is how you stay saved. And out of that relationship, eventually you will be saved. The consummation of things at the end of history. Well, what I want to do for the next few minutes, if you allow me, is to illustrate to you what happens when that relationship becomes the capstone, meaning when you see God's relationship among the three persons of the Trinity as the most important relationship. And I'm asking you to consider this because otherwise, if you make your relationships the most important thing in life, then you're going to be deceived because there's no perfect relationships. There's no perfect marriage. There's no perfect parenting experience. It's, it's only God. And, and we relied on his trustworthiness and his reliability. And, and again, in that relationship. Now, one of the guys that is going to experience that relationship, meaning that he's going to be saved by the presence of God, is precisely a guy by the name of Saul of Tarsus, eventually named Paul, the Apostle Paul. Man, this guy is going to be tested tremendously where he's going to see his relationships with churches, specifically the church in Corinth, as a foundational cornerstone, not as a capstone. Why? Because the relationship with the church is so dysfunctional. It's it's so broken. The church is attacking him. And this is how he responds. Let let me just show you how he responds by reading to you chapter 6 of 2 Corinthians. And this is what happens when you make relationships, once again, foundational, necessary, but they're not the most important. So for Paul, the most important relationship was the relationship among the triune God. And this is what created. This is what happened as a result of that. Now, this is him speaking to the church in the context of a lot of conflict and a lot of problems and a lot of struggles. And I want you to listen very closely to what he says. He says, now, behold, now is a favorable time. Behold, now is a day of salvation. Verse 3. Given no reason for taking offense in anything so that the ministry will not be distracted or discredited. Meaning, we're focusing on others instead of self. But, here's how you're going to protect the ministry. Here's how you're going to look for the well-being of others instead of yours. In everything, we're commending ourselves as servants of God. So, we are servants of of the most important relationship. A lot of people think if there's a God, he's supposed to serve me and fix my relationships. He's saying, no, in spite of our brokenness, this is about serving the most important relationship, which is the relationship among the triune and God. Now, here is where it gets really crazy for me and difficult to read because I'm assuming that if you get this thing figured out, life is supposed to make sense. Relationships are supposed to make sense. And Paul is going to go exactly in the opposite direction with his relationships. Look at what he says. Now that he sees ourselves as servants of God, we see ourselves as servants of God, not because we're putting God on our debt, not because God owes me since I'm serving him. But he says, it is in much endurance, in afflictions, in hardships, in difficulties, in beatings, in imprisonments, in mob attacks, in labors, in sleeplessness, in hunger, verse 6, in purity, in knowledge, in patience, in kindness, in the Holy Spirit, in genuine love, in the word of truth. He has been, you know, he's been accused of falsehood and, and counterfeiting the gospel. And in the power of God, by the weapons of righteousness for the right hand and the left. Verse 8, listen to this. This is what happens when you make God the most important relationship that relationship among the triune God by glory and dishonor by evil report and good report regarded as deceivers and yet were true (laughs) as unknown and yet well known as dying and yet behold we are alive as punished and yet not put to death as sorrowful yet always rejoicing 
as poor, yet making many rich, and as having nothing, and yet possessing all things. When we make, in the month of February, the relationship among, relationship among the triune God as the most important relationship, He is not promising that our relationships are going to make sense. What He's promising is that He's going to give us the ability to embrace his essence, his worldview of self, uh, self-sacrifice, self selflessness, as he did 2,000 years ago and gave his life in ransom for us. Now we become that experience. Now we approach relationships through the understanding that I'm here to serve, I'm here to give, I'm here to commit to others. And this is the month of February. And I hope in the most important relationship in your life is the relationship between the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. God bless.